Hey guys, Justin Henry here. I get questions all the time about, hey, what do you think about the economy? Where's the housing market going? Are prices going up, down? Are foreclosures coming back? Are we gonna have another recession like 08? Are things gonna be scary or good or where things are going? Obviously, I'm a real estate agent, I'm a real estate broker. They ask me these questions a lot. So at the end of the day, I want to provide as much information as I possibly can. Uh, and so we're gonna talk about yeah, a little bit of that. We're going to dabble in the MLS today. We're going to talk about where things are currently at today in terms of that short sale foreclosure activity as well as where they were a year ago. We're also going to look at where they were in 2010, right around the height of that recessionary boom of short sales, foreclosures, all that activity um, in our DFW marketplace. And so we're going to take a moment to look at that. First and foremost, so if you have not, had a moment to like or subscribe to my channel to learn more about the 380 corridor activity and news for this market, please do so. Also, yeah, let's give you some updates about what's happening in the grander market along DFW and sometimes the nation as well. Please do go ahead and do that and we'll move on right now. That said, what's happening right now? Well, things are still moving right along at a lower and slower pace. Take a look at this right here. This map view shows you exactly 517. This is 517 active pending sold properties. And now those sold properties go back to the last 90 days, okay? So are things looking good, bad, and different? Well, let's just take a moment and consider. Take a look at this graph. This map view shows 231. This is a number of 231 sold in the quarter last year well that's more than half right half of the properties that were in foreclosure short sale last year um, compared to this year that said why is that well there's a lot of reasons HUD wasn't foreclosing yet there's a lot of um, banks that weren't actually foreclosing people had stinking money the market was booming things were going good now not so much right the market has certainly slowed um, gosh, repos are through the roof now. You're seeing an all-time high this last three weeks, four weeks of repos. People stop paying on their cars because they got to pay for food and their you know roof over their heads, things like that. So we're starting to see a little things like that creep back into the market. That said, you've got 231 from a year ago to 517 right now. That's more than double. That's a big jump, especially in one year. Um, but is that an indicator that we're going to be going into a recession? Well, it's all things considered. It's interesting because right now prices nationally have come down more than $90,000. Certainly those people that purchase in the last year or so might be more inclined to do a short sale because they're going to owe more potentially, right? And so short sales certainly will tick up. You'll see that in those raw data numbers because at the end of the day, they paid more for the house. Maybe more than they should have. Who knows? That said, what happens whenever you throw in the mix September 2010 to December 2010? Wow. Okay, let's look at this right here. Boom, this video shows you real quickly. I'm going to do some math here. Okay, I'm going to put it together. Boom, Four th over 4,000, over 4,000 sold. In two, that was just the ones that sold. I didn't, I didn't even pull up the cancel or expireds or whatever from 2010 uh, of the ones that were short sale and um, in, in 2010. So, bottom line is is that we've got a long way to go to get to just 2010. Where honestly, in 2010, the market for me at least was starting to recover. You were starting to see homes sell outside of short sale and people that were actually starting to have enough equity to actually sell without. Uh, selling short and just letting the house go because they're like, that's a bad investment. We don't want to keep paying this because it seems to me I'm never going to get my money in return. Why not, you know, bite the bullet and start over, right? In today's economy, we have have certainly a long way to go before we get to that mark. However, like we said before, if you were put in a position where you purchased in the last little bit, last year or two, you certainly may be in a situation where you're going to potentially have to short sale um, because prices have gone down, right? 
Forty-one percent of all homes in America are paid in cash. So just get that. Over forty-one percent. That's a ton. That's a ton of just you know an astronomical number. Um, and I don't even know what the number was in 2010, but I don't think it was that. So that said, we have a long way to go to get to a, a true recessionary feel like we did years ago. And on top of that, in relation to the stock market, um, there is so much more people out there that have money too. So people will be looking for a deal. Look at Warren Buffett. Look at all these people that are hanging on to cash because they're going to be waiting to swoop in and pick things up for cheap. And so that said, are we ever going to have that massive dip like we did before? It's unlikely. It's just truly unlikely to see um, in that massive swing arena. That said, are people going to be struggling? Are people going to be having tighter positions than they've ever had? Especially, you know, certainly in the last three to five years. Yep, it's going to be not great. It's going to be tight. It's going to be hard. Um, but this just gives you a little bit of data, a little bit of insight as to where things stand today. Uh, check back in six months to nine months. We may be talking about something completely different. Um, it always seems to be, you know, kind of interesting to see how things shake loose. Maybe these people get their car repossessed and that's the thing they needed to, um, you know, get them back on the right track, pay down their credit cards, make their house payment and they get a cash car, whatever. You never know. There's a lot of people in the last two or so years that made the decision to get a really fancy car, um, and and that probably was not the right invest decision, right? If you have any questions about your situation in real estate specifically, why don't you reach out to me? We help people buy and sell all the time and would love to help you too. So that's just a little bit of insight as to where we stand today in foreclosures in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Have a great day.